Hey guys, Chameleon.com here. We've been looking forward to this review and unbagging for a long time. This is the High Sierra Long Trail. It's a 90 liter expedition pack is what they call it. And we're going to be showing you this because I found that there's no good review for this thing. You know, there's no good comprehensive review of this that actually goes through the entire bag. And it's a well-known bag. So um, before I start using it on the trail, I want to show you guys the benefits to this thing. And why I chose this over the Grand Teton 5500, which is also a flagship expedition pack. So I'm just going to get straight into it. Um, and that's basically it. So the website, the High Sierra website, claims that it weighs 6.1 pounds. It has a torso fit range of 17 to 21 inches, waist 30 inches and up, and it's 36 by 30. 15 by 11. So we're going to put that numbers, those numbers, to the real world test. And this is the first time I'm opening this. Mm. Very sleek. It's nice. Very nice. Yeah, I like it. Looks pretty good. Wow, it's cool. Tags. We're going to measure it in a second. But first, I want to actually show you guys the bag because. Most people just want to know what's going on with this thing. Uh, what else we got here? So first, before I actually open this, I'm just going to read off what the company website says. It is a 90 liter expedition size backpack with extra cargo capacity. It's got a top load main compartment with gosseted drawstring closure and adjustable top lid. Drop bottom sleeping bag compartment with divider. So you can there's a divider inside of this thing. Um, what else we got here? Front access to main compartment. That was a huge thing. So you can actually access the whole thing from from the actual back. It's got an adjust, adjustable sternum strap, dual contoured aluminum frame bars, molded foam back panel, airflow channels, waist belt with hex bent mesh and high density foam padding. It wicks moisture, which is good, keeps you cool. Uh, side compression straps help secure and stabilize gear. Bottom compression straps can be extended to allow for additional storage. And web daisy chain, webbing daisy chain on both sides to attach gear. So it's got daisy chains as well. So the first thing I want to do is put this to the weight test. Everyone is concerned about weight on the trail, so I'm just going to turn on my AccuTech here. It's a good scale by the way. I'm actually going to put... Uh, a link in the description below for both the bag and the scale, as well as other bags that I was looking at before I bought this thing. Let's move this scale. They're claiming 6.1 pounds. We're going to put that to the test right now. Let's see what we got here. Uh, I'm pulling up five. I'm not pushing down on this thing at all. I'm getting five and... Not even five and a half, so it's actually lighter than what the than what the actual um, website says. So that's a surprise. So we're at five point three pounds, roughly. And now let's actually get into the bag instead of just talking about this thing. So here's what we got. This could be a long video, guys, because I actually want to get a comprehensive review of this thing because no one has really gone through this whole bag, and that's a huge problem for people that are actually looking for this thing. So. First off, it's got a rain hood, which I think can be used as a fanny pack. I'll check that in a second. Don't quote me on that. But it's got a good cover, okay? I want to make sure you can see this. And then it also has a list of survival essentials right on the back, so that's cool. So just so you know what to bring before you go out on the trail, which is navigation, sun protection, first aid, multi-tool, fire, flashlight, food and water, whistle, clothing, and shelter. And then, just so you guys can see this, just so you can read that little guide. I'm not going to read that whole thing, but if you guys want to pause it. Okay, so that's cool. The question is, can you take off the hood with a, with a strap of some kind and see if that's possible? So it looks like the hood is permanently attached, which is 
it's, it's a good thing, but it's not an awesome thing because some people like to remove the hood. But I do like that you can tighten it. It's got three straps right about here. Hang on a second. I got to make sure this camera is seeing all this. It's got three straps on the hood, so it's like a hinge, okay, for the hood. The hood itself has a draw. I got I to gotta put the camera up so you guys can actually see the whole thing. Because you're not going to be able to see this review if I'm not. Yep. Yep, it's a lot better. Okay. So the hood itself, it's got a pocket on the rear side. Meaning the side facing your side of your back. It's almost got like a felt material inside here too. I'm not sure if you can see that. Pretty roomy. It's got some space up there. And then it's got a big pocket that you can open the whole thing. About halfway. And that's a much, much bigger pocket on top. Okay, so it's got main, main pocket and then an additional pocket. So that's good for like your first aid or cliff bar or whatever. And then I'm gonna re, I'm actually just gonna open the actual main compartment now. Turn this up just a little bit, a little bit. Oh, also it's got a clip on top. So you can actually secure your gear in addition to the hood. So that's a nice little feature. Also it can be tightened, of course. Here's the gusseted drawstring to keep your gear dry. So you just pull that. It goes right in. Okay, so I'm going to open this up and see how we can do this here. Because I'm new to this too, guys. I'm new to this bag as much as you guys, so I'm going through this thing step by step. Okay, so here's okay, so that's a drawstring. Okay, so here's the top load. All right. Here's the top load of the whole compartment. I'm going to open it up and get some light in there so you guys can actually see it. You know what? I might actually grab a flashlight just so you guys can see inside the whole bag. I think I'm going to do that actually. Okay. So here's the deal with this bag. I'm going to get a flashlight so you guys can actually see inside. So bear with me. Take me two seconds, I know where it is. Alright, I got it. So, inside the bag, you got, here's what it looks like. This is the cream de la creme right here. So you can see that it's very, very large, and instead of just giving you like an, like, oh, it fits my whole arm. I'm actually gonna measure inside the bag with, now keep in mind, the compartment that separates the sleeping bag from the actual main compartment. Just gonna measure it really quick. Uh, from the bottom to the top is roughly, Roughly 20 inches. Okay, so I'm touching the bottom right now. I'm, I'm touching the bottom. It's about 20, about 20 inches to the rim. Okay, so that's cool. Now, this will be a long review, guys. I'm telling you, I want I, no one has a thorough review of this bag, man. So I want people to know. Okay. It's also got another compartment that separates the uh, main. There's like you can kind of you can kind of have two separate things of storage, and the reason that's nice is you can actually have this little clip here for a hydration bladder. So you hang your bladder right from there, your Camelback or whatever, and there should be a feed tube. I know it goes through here somewhere. I want to show you where it is. Uh, H2O. I know. Oh, here it is. So your bladder goes right on this clip, and then it goes through the your left side and there's a hole I want to show you the hole where it goes so you're not guessing this is the hole right here 
kind of you can kind of. I just want to show you that it actually is a hole. All right. Anyway, that's the hydration hole. It goes right there. So you can hang your bladders right from there. Also, there's a tag in here. I wonder if I want to show that to you guys. Um, just says that it's made of polyester. It's just just a high Sierra tag. Um, I'm seeing if there's any other little random spots in here for storage. Huge factor to buying this. One of the huge factors to buying this is some of the 55 liter packs and some of the, um, I'm not saying all of them, but you know, a good amount, they don't have a place where you can ac actually access your bag from the top, or I'm sorry, from the back. So you can get to your gear from three ways. You can get it from right here, you can go through the top compartment, okay, which has a 20 inch, which has a 20 inch vertical compartment, and let's measure the side to side of the compartment. Side to side is roughly stretched out, I'd say 14 to 16 inches, maybe even 17, 18 if you really stuff the thing. And this back pocket has its own pocket. This isn't a separation, this is actually its own storage. So you got a pocket here as well. Okay, you can put your, maybe a tablet or small laptop in here, just some gear. Um, pretty good stuff, pretty big pocket. So you got a little separating pocket right here. And then this is just a main compartment so you can have something in here and then you can have a lot of stuff in there as well. There's also another, uh, right down the middle of the bag, there's a zipper that's opens horizontally. That's a pretty good pocket. You can put a little stuff in there, maybe a medical kit or maybe just um, something you gotta have quick access to. Now here, down here is the sleeping bag compartment. And one note I will make, oh no, this, this thing opens pretty, I'm not even halfway open on this thing. I gotta open this all the way. Okay, so that's open. Yeah, this thing opens a lot. I'm gonna take back that comment I was about to say. I thought it wasn't gonna open much, but that is a good, that is a good amount of space right there for your, um, that is a good amount of space for your bag right there. And I like that the cargo compartment can close um, all the way. And I'll, I'll show you what I mean by that comment in just a second. So here's the sleeping bag amount. Also, I think I feel a rain pouch that came with this thing. I um, just want to show you the actual sleeping bag space. You can hold a lot. I mean, definitely hold a huge bag, maybe even a, maybe even a foam mat with your bag in there. I mean, it is a big compartment. It is a big compartment. Let me just see if there's any other little stuff in there that I want to show you. Um, I, will, I will showcase this. We got the uh, separation of the compartments. So can you see that on camera? Yep, you can. So you can just unzip this right here. And it's fully enclosed. Like there's some bags, unfortunately, like where there's like holes on the side of the sleeping bag, the separation compartment, and that defeats the whole purpose, right? It's like, why would you separate the bag if there's a, there's a little section hanging out where gear can fall through? With the High Sierra, that is not the case, at least with the long trail for the 90. I'm not, I can't speak for the 75, but while I'm also on the subject, the website claimed that the High Sierra 75 well, let me, let me get this thing open first. The High Sierra 75 is like a third of a pound lighter, and this thing has 20% more volume for a third of a pound. So I thought that was a good trade-off. They're about the same size for the 75 and the 90. I'm like, you know, might as well go big or go home. So that that's the separation. You can see that. You can go through here, you can separate it, and you can get to your gear in your sleeping bag right there. So let me zip this up. And then we're going to get to the side pockets and everything else. I am not reviewing this review. This is a long review, guys. This is almost as long as the long trail. I know. I'm a master of comedy. Okay. 
So, there is also this fun little under, under bag compartment, which has the, oh, that's cool. It has its own strap. Oh my God, is that, it actually connects to the bottom. Oh, that's sweet. So check this out. Wow, that's cool. And you can, well, it fits the rain pouch, but you can you can throw a couple things underneath there as well. You know, it, it doesn't take up the whole compartment. So you might be able to throw a couple little things in there. Um, but what they did is they, I didn't, I didn't even know they made it this way. I thought this was its own separate thing. But they they put the they put the rain pouch on a on a strap, so it can never come disconnected from the bag. And you when it rains outside, you just throw this over your bag, and now you got an extremely, if not waterproof, an extremely rain resistant bag. I want to showcase this, guys. Look at that thing. So it's it's completely covered. You can't even see the black anymore. But that's a cool rain, rain poncho for the back. I dig that a lot. Pretty cool. That it's self-contained, goes right back in the butt. It's got a Velcro strap. Now you never have to worry about your your gear getting wet. So that's pretty cool. Um, now we're gonna go into side pockets and then we're gonna go into the actual lumbar system. Okay, hold on, let me, let me zip all this up. A lot of good straps on here, by the way, guys, for um, storage. They also got some webbing. They got some daisy chain webbing, but we'll get into that in a second. I gotta zip all these up. That's cool. Zip that up. The zippers are rugged. I wouldn't call them smooth like a like a laptop backpack, but they're probably built to be that way because they seem very strong. They got thick, they got thick zippers, like thick, thick metal zippers, which is good. I wonder if there's a brand name on the zippers. What kind of zippers are these? Uh, I'm not sure if they're just High Sierra zippers or if they're YK. I'll get to that in a second. Okay. So, this is the right side of the bag, if you were carrying it on your back. And there's a side pocket right here. Carry some gear, some food, whatever you need. There's also compression straps that are actually on a buckle. So there's one compression buckle. Two compression buckle on one side so you can actually have some gear that you're loading just straight up on the side of this pack so if you want to put I don't know a survival tool right here maybe some climbing gear a pickaxe um, whatever you're into you can hold something extremely vertical and long on that side it'll be exposed to the elements but if you use that rain pouch on the bottom you'll actually protect that stuff as well for the most part um, as long as it fits the length of the bag, which is extremely long, it's like 30, they advertise 36 inches. And that rain pouch had a lot more room than what it was. Also, it's got this little Velcro thing right here. I guess you can Velcro some stuff. It's got a little tiny Velcro. Oh, this is probably for a, um, a tool. You can just put a tool right in there. Maybe, uh, oh, you know what these are for? I know what these are for. These are for your um, your trekking poles. So you can put your trekking poles right in these two loops. That's a nice feature. And then you got, same thing on the left side. You got another big pocket right here. You can almost fit a, like a small water bottle in there. It's pretty good. And then same thing, they got two compression buckles. So you can put something vertical on this whole side right here. And then, um, Oh, yeah, I mean, it's a good bag. It's also very rigid because it's got two aluminum stays inside of the bag itself. And I know this isn't the most elegant review, guys, but bear with me because we're getting straight into this thing. 
And we're going to see this thing. We're going to actually go through this really quick. Oh, I should have done this in the beginning. So here's the bag. In case you guys need to see it. Uh, top load main compartment, convenient zipper pockets, mesh pockets, bottom compression strap allows for additional storage. Didn't see that at the bottom. Got a bottom compression strap. So you can even put more stuff on the bottom. Sleeping bag, sleeping mat, foam pad, that kind of thing. Uh, dude, this backpack is the bomb. Here's the specs. 6.1 pounds, torso fit, waist fit. Oh, let me get that shine off of there. 30 inches and up, dimensions, hydration ready, classic 2 series. High Sierra designs, feature rich, versatile adventure gear for adventurers everywhere. Since our founding in 1978, we've committed ourselves to creating durable, affordable product with distinctive details, delivering the freedom to go anywhere, near or far, on roads or trails or mountain ridges. Your snowy slopes, no matter what form of adventure, no matter what form your adventure takes. I see your adventure this way. Got to dig that. Yeah, they, they advertised it as, um, they advertised it as 6.1 pounds, but it came in at like 5.3, so that's kind of funny. Um, a little bit lighter than what they say. Anyway, I'm going to read through this just so you guys can see it. I want to go through their actual manual, but I first wanted to go through the bag itself. Because you're going to see this stuff on Amazon anyway. By the way, if you haven't bought this bag already after 20 minutes, Amazon link below, guys, to buy this bag, as well as other bags that I would suggest from Teton or Amazon Basics, as well as some other ones that I was researching. But this one came out on top. You know what I mean? Like This is one I actually bought after hours of research after, for looking at a bag. So let me just read through this. I want to get through this review. Side compression straps, you already know that. Large dual zippered pockets on the sides, you already know that. Uh, convenient zippered pockets on the back, front access to the main compartment, I showed you that. Webbing daisy chain on both sides to attach gear. I showed you, I think I showed you that. Did I show you the daisy chain? Yeah, I showed you these little, little daisy chains on the side. Um, mesh pockets hold 1,000 mil water beetles, <laughs> water beetles, water bottles. Got these mesh pockets right here on the side. There's one on the left and the right. And you know what? Just to show you, I'll get, a, I'll, I'll get a water bottle right now. Doesn't have a lid, sorry, but I just want to show you that it does fit a water bottle very well. And like, look at that, man. It's not coming out very easy. It's got a nice, big, long section for the water bottle, so you don't have to worry about it. Uh, where were we at on this manual? So you got the water bottle thing. It's got a button compression strap at the bottom for additional storage. Bottom compression strap, soft latching. Yeah, the soft latching hardware holds uh, actually the hiking poles. That's where that little Velcro thing was. Sorry, I'm reading off the top when I'm showing you the bottom. Also, this is the 58443 model. And they seem to come in a couple of different colors. I got the black and gray version because I like black and gray. They have black and blue. Uh, tuck away rain cover, protects the pack, when checked for air travel, I like that, I didn't think about that one. Zippered lid pocket provides a quick and convenient access, ergo fit shoulder harness with adjustable load lifters, feature hex vent mesh and high density foam padding. Adjustable sternum strap stabilizes back, molded foam airflow back panel keeps you, keeps your back cool and dry. Adjustable dual contoured aluminum frame bars are inside the pack. Padded waist belt with hex vent mesh wicks moisture. Uh, it's made of mini hex ripstop, mini weave Duralite 1680D ballistic on the bottom. So it's got some good material in it as well. Internal hydration waters reservoir and dual exit ports for tube and reservoir. Oh, wow, I didn't notice that. You can have... Your hydration bladder come out from the right, I'm sorry, the right or the left. Pardon me on that, pardon that confusion. So this is, God, there's more features in this thing than a Swiss Army knife, man, it's crazy. 
Okay, I'm also going to show you this really quick. How to measure your torso, measuring your waist. People, come on now. Do I really need to tell you how to measure your waist and your torso? Getting the right fit. Loosen all the webbing straps, low lifters, place a moderate load inside the pack. If your pack has a fixed back, move on to the next step. Put your pack on by positioning the hip belt over your hip bones. Center the hip belt along your hip bones and fasten tighten it until it's snug. Next, tighten your shoulder shafts, adjust the straps of the pack. is held to your back, maintaining the weight of the load on your hips. The shoulder strap should contour around the shoulders. Adjust the load lifter straps to approximate 45 degrees. That means the straps um, above your shoulders should be at a 45 degree angle. Finally, buckle the sternum strap and adjust up or down to the comfortable location without being overly tight. The backpack should be snug against your body and balanced so that the weight is distributed evenly over your shoulders and hips. You don't want this stuff going to your lower back. Loading your pack. When loading a large volume pack for backpacking trip, the goal is to raise the center of gravity. Load heavier items as close to your back as possible. One thing I want to mention about this pack before I read any further. One reason I went with this one over the Grand Teton is you'll notice that this is much higher and slender than the Grand Teton 5500. Which means that the weight distribution is going to be closer to your body than it would on the Grand Teton because you have this massive pack that's just like a turtle shell with the Grand Teton. When this, when this, when this is more like a slender tower that just hovers over your head and your back. So it's closer center of gravity to your back, which means less load overall. It's like holding a five, it's like holding a 10 pound weight doing a curl or holding a 10 pound weight with your arm fully extended and you tell me how you're going to feel after walking 10 miles through the through the bush so that's that um this is a this is a good this is a good uh reference tool if you're ever out and about because you know a lot of people take the internet for granted but you should keep this thing inside your pack so you know how to load your pack properly it's a good thing to put you can even put it up here by your um put it in this little pack up here by the instructions, so when you go out on an adventure, when you cut this thing off of your bag, you at least know. Okay, let's finish this up. So, load heavier items close to your bag as possible for moderate terrain. Load heavier items higher in the pack for more stability or uneven terrain. Distribute the heaviest items above the sleeping bag compartment where ackleable and distribute evenly close to your back. If your pack has separate compartments at the bottom that is designed specifically for sleeping bag, use it for that purpose. That would be one of these. A closed cell foam mat takes up a large amount of space. When stored inside your pack, since it doesn't absorb water, stow it on the outside of your pack, meaning the bottom compression straps would be a good choice. Um, cleaning your pack. Spot clean any dirt or other stains using a sponge, warm water, and mild detergent. Fill a tub. I like that idea. Fill a tub or large sink with warm water and add a mild detergent. Use enough to create bubbles on the surface. Remove the harness and hip belt if these are removable and submerge the backpack into water. Gently shake the backpack under the water and rinse it off with warm or cold water. Line dry the backpack out of direct sunlight. Um, oh, I, one more thing, guys. High Sierra limited lifetime warranty. High Sierra products are warranted to the original owner for their lifetime of the product against defects in materials or workmanship under normal recreational use. If your High Sierra product fails due to material or manufacturing defect, we will repair or replace the product at, at our option. Okay. The warranty gives you specific legal rights, and you may have other rights which may vary from state to state. That's cool. Uh, and then, of course, California, blah, 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 chemicals, cancer, whatever. All right, so other than that, I think it's an excellent bag. I think it's very well made. Uh, the portion of the proceeds of this product will help support the vision the vision to make the U.S. team the best in the world. I like that. So this helps support the free skiing, U.S. snowboarding, and U.S. ski team. You're welcome, Sean White. Paid full price. <coughs> Just letting you know. Okay. Um, oh, let me turn off this flashlight. So, with that said, the Long Trail 90 is the bomb, but we're not done yet because I need to actually show you the straps themselves, and then this guy right here, and what we're doing. So I noticed that there's no, there's no, um, but that's okay because you can hold your gear right here, so that's straight. 
hoping for a little, um, what you call it, fanny pack, but you can always wear one in front. But you know what, man? This thing holds so much gear. Can you really complain if you don't have a fanny pack? Like, my God. Here's the adjustment system. So you pull this, you pull that strap up, and you can move this up or down somehow. Let's see how that works. Oh, this comes out. So you can straight up, what you do is you pull that off. And then this whole Velcro contraption comes through the loop. And you can adjust it with these different loop heights right here. Um, let's take a look at the actual material here, and then I'm going to put it on and tell you how it, goes, how it feels. Very, I would say this is a harder surface, but this stuff, on a scale of the 1 to 10 of softness, the lower back softness is like, this is like a 8, or an 8 and a half. Right here is like a, this is pretty, this is pretty hard right here. This is like a, but it's got channels. It's like, a, it's like a dense foam, but I would give it like a, like a, it's like a stiff, it's like a stiff softness. It's like a five on the softness, but it's, it supports you at the same time. And I think that's what they were going for when they built this thing. All right, enough talking. I'm going to zip up these compartments and put it on. I'll tell you guys how it feels. Let's see how this thing feels on the back. Uh, let's see where the other strap is, if I can find it. Oh, here it is. Put this thing up. That goes over here. That goes right there. This goes right here. No, that's not there. This is strap for this guy right here. I'm not going to worry about it. I want, I want to finish this review for you guys. Overall, I think it's a great bag. I mean, I feel I made the right choice with it. It's nice. It's very well made. I like that the I like that the um, rain cover is incorporated into the into the um, backpack itself. I thought that was a neat feature. I just thought that was a really cool feature that they did that. First, top strap first, and then the hood. Top strap first, and then you throw on the hood. So you put it out. So you can, you can go through like the Yukon with this thing. That's crazy. So that goes right here. I think this is the other hood one. Very hood. Oh, and then this is the compression strap for here, I think. Figure that one out later. Oh, here it is. All right, cool. That goes there. And then this goes right 